Good morning, Trinity and friends. On Friday, February 5, 2021, it's a good morning to be together and to uh, share this time together. February is the month when we move from one church season to the next. Um, we've been in the season of Epiphany, celebrating the light of Christ. I saw or I read a good uh, something good from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, about light and darkness. He said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. That's been the spirit of our celebration of Epiphany throughout the month of January and into February. It is the light of Christ that brings us along together on a very special journey of following Jesus. That's why on Sunday morning, several of the scripture passages have been around the call of the disciples, like Mark 1, 16, where Jesus meets Simon and his brother Andrew and says, follow me, and they leave their nets and follow him. That's the journey of Christ that, with Christ that we are on. And this month, it moves into a symbolic journey, Lent, uh, beginning with Ash Wednesday, on the 17th of February. And uh, during the, that period of Lent, when we celebrate the journey of our faith, on Wednesdays at noon, we're going to have a Zoom study of the Lord's Prayer. Seems like a really good thing to be doing. And I wanted to read something to you that Frederick Beekner once said about the Lord's Prayer. He said, Thy will be done is what we are saying. That is the climax of the first half of the prayer. We're asking God to be God. We're asking God to do what, not what we want, but what God wants. You need to be bold in another way to speak the second half. Give us, forgive us, don't test us, deliver us takes guts to face the omnipotence that is God's. It takes perhaps no less to face the impotence that is ours. We can do nothing without God. Without God, we are nothing. And then Beekner finishes by saying, it is only the words, our Father, that make the prayer bearable. If God is indeed something like a father, then as something like children, maybe we can risk approaching God anyway. That's what we do all during this upcoming season of Lent. We're on a journey of approaching God because God has first welcomed and approached us in the love of Christ. It does um, have something to do with friendship uh, the friendship of God extended to all people through sacrificial love. And I thought I'd end by saying something about friendship, uh, both divine and between us, between people. This is written by T.S. Eliot. Friendship is the comfort, the inexpressible comfort of feeling safe with a person having neither to weigh thoughts nor measure words, but pouring all right out just as they are, chaff and grain together, certain that a faithful hand will take and sift them, keep what is worth keeping, and with a breath of comfort blow the rest away. It is that sense of invitation that comes from God through Jesus, and it's that sense of prayer that we open up with God and that type of relationship we are invited to have with each other that makes all the difference in the world. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you that you have thrown open the gates of grace and heaven, and that you've done it through the sacrificial love of Jesus. Help us to move toward you and receive that type of relationship which renews our life at its most profound levels and help us to be on the journey together, a journey of following and responding 
and being all that you call us to be for the sake of a hurting world. And we're mindful of that world as we pray for those suffering with COVID-19. We are so thankful for the vaccine making its way. We pray this all over the world. Continue, Lord, to be with, be with our people who are making it possible, as well as our first responders and all those who serve on our behalf. We pray for our government leaders, for all to see and to respond to the light that you show us every day. And hear us as we pray that prayer of invitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Take good care and have a, a good day and weekend.